It was Pete Hayward, the chief detective for Salt Lake County, who spent several months investigating Bundy. Today, he was one of the first people notified about the escape. Well, I'm concerned that, uh, like I mentioned before, that this individual had been on the street, and we, of course, take all necessary precautions in, uh, with our witnesses that testified against him in our case here. And, of course, we'll assist any way we can with Colorado to uh, see that he's apprehended. Are you worried that he might hurt somebody else? Well, there's always this possibility. There's uh, a lot of cases uh, pending that uh, I would like to talk to Bundy about. The drama started when a man walking along Aspen's main street saw someone jump out of those windows in Aspen's courthouse. He walked downstairs in the courthouse and asked the sheriff's secretary if it was normal for somebody to be leaping out of those windows. And we said, no, it's not. And there were three secretaries and a sergeant there at the time. The undersheriff was there with his door closed. Uh, the sergeant ran upstairs, as did one secretary, not myself. Uh, they ran upstairs to see if indeed it was Bundy secretary came down. She said it was Bundy. I went upstairs to get the sheriff and told him that Bundy had escaped. The sheriff went, <laughs> and I can't tell you when, where. I came out the front door. I looked over here, and I saw papers lying on the ground, and I picked them up and took them back downstairs, and it's been chaotic ever since. <laughs> Roadblocks have been set up all around Aspen. City police and Pitkin County Sheriff's deputies are checking every car leaving this mountain community. Officials say those roadblocks were set up almost immediately. The escape has a lot of people here very concerned. Night classes at some area schools have been canceled until Bundy is captured, or authorities say the area is safe. People here are just plain scared. Because of that, authorities are launching one of the largest manhunts ever known in this area. Dogs were brought in to try and pick up Bundy's scent from a sweater left in the courtroom. But so far, there's still no trace of Theodore Bundy. Brad White, Newswatch 2 in Aspen, Colorado.